Legend of Total War here with part 4 of my Rise of the Samurai Let's Play campaign as the... What are they called? The Hiraizumi Fujiwara clan. Alright, so previously we once again completely outmaneuvered our enemies. The Minamoto, whatever the fuck they were called. And um, just crushed them. Despite the fact that we actually lost a pretty significant battle where I actually ambushed them and I still lost the battle. They completely lost the war and it was largely thanks to... Our agents, our, um, our geisha or whatever they're fucking called, um, tipping what their remaining army completely locked down, distracted, while an army, another army bypassed it completely and took all their remaining settlements. So, I'm sure people will be saying something along the lines of, agents are bullshit in this game, and yeah, I'm inclined to agree, but that being said, it's part of the game, and usually... Usually, like when I'm playing Total War 2 or something, I'm having to deal with the enemy agents just being complete fucking wrecking everything of mine. But So it's kind of a relief to be doing it to the AI. There's so much incentive to be doing it to them in this. Alright, so let's see here. This person's leveled up. Fuck, I haven't leveled this person up in ages. Not a big deal, I mean, it can't get the odds any higher than 70, uh, sorry, 95%. We can do that here, there's only one unit in there, so... Yoink! So this general here, they wouldn't be able to take it on by itself. Cool, so we can upgrade the stronghold there, because it's very important that we do that. And also get... Loads of food. This is a pretty safe region, for the most part. We want to be trying to use our agents as often as possible to take settlements because because there's no um, no penalty to uh, resistance to invaders, which come the late campaign is going to be really useful because the more we're starting to get to a point now when we conquer settlements that even once the invasion penalty goes down, that's not going to go down any lower than two or three. And so by using agents, we could just negate that entirely. This person here leveled up. He's higher level than the Damyo. Oh well. So just one in each of those. So all of this here is all secure. I mean, apart from if any navies come out this way, but still. We took it all pretty easily. Only needing to conquer militarily a handful of settlements. You can stay over here. I might send this guy back over here because the Tyra are trying something here. It's not good, not what I want. So upgrade that. Got plenty of money coming in, so that's also good. So the Hida over here. I oh, don't know, no, no, that's just the name of the settlement. The who are these guys again? The Kitaba Kitabatake. They're, uh, they're fucking up our allies, which is fine, because now I get the opportunity to take my allies' territory. We are probably very close to- holy shit! One more settlement, and I'm... And I'm there. Realm Divide. So, I don't know, maybe it might be a good idea not to do that, because... I mean, we do have... We do rely quite heavily on trade. So, if we just... Don't take any more settlements just for the time being. Consolidate these regions that we've got. I mean, we'll have to go through Realm Divide at some point. But, um... Strengthening the regions as much as possible will really help us in that regard. Okay, so... Got a little bit of money, just, um... Let's... Let's see. So, uh, I'm not really gonna... I'm not gonna focus on building a Doom Stack just yet. It's definitely something that's on my to-do list. I we'll really want to try and build up all of these regions. Looking for, um... Okay, what about silk? It's an additional 200 wealth from commerce there. Alright, well, whatever. Although we really should be trying to look for things like food. Because upgrading food... So yeah, cancel that. Uh, actually, upgrade that. So, in, in case they come back, which... If they came back, they'd probably just take it even if it was there. But, um, actually we could do both. 
So what, how many regions do we have? 19. So basically, as soon as you go to 20 regions, realm divide. Yeah, get them off our trade route. Hmm. Just thinking. Yeah, just auto reserve would we'll be fine. Oh, we actually captured it. Because I was thinking about finding it manually so I can capture the ship. Ah, uh, we got no money, but that's okay. Taking them off the trade route, we actually end up costing us money because of, um... You know, we got this, we got an additional ship. They cost money. So, looks like the trade resource has increased. If you remember at the beginning of the campaign, that was at, um, 110. So it's gone up by a small amount. So yeah, keep them coming, we'll re-establish ourselves here until the pirates come back and kick us off again. Which is fine. Anything that we can get more money on, then that's great. Can we increase taxes this turn? No. Alright, let's move on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What about diplomacy? Can we can we sell off some military access to... I think I've already done it to them. Alright, moving on. If they just send a navy around, that's no threat. If they send a navy with with forces attached, that's a problem. I've already dealt with one of them, that's why we had to declare war on them in the first place. that we can start building encampments that'll be effective for our military if we're going to have good archers we're going to need way of the bow i mean plus 50 percent extra ammunition that's that's quite useful i mean everything's useful to some extent except for plus 10 diplomatic relations that's going to be worthless come realm divide um yeah plus four replenishment is really going to help us for realm divide because we'll likely be we'll need to be having consistent fights yeah, we'll be able to take that soon, but like I said, it's, I don't know if it's in our best interest. Just have a quick look up here. Like, I think it's in my best interest to just wait, build up our region so we get more cash flow coming in, so that we can build up our armies. Because as we've already said, the AI tend not to build up their their provinces economically. And I don't think anyone is going to win out of all this. There's not going to be one faction just triumph over all of that. They're just going to fight amongst themselves. So it's a good opportunity for us to build up our regions, make lots of money, so that when it comes down to it, we can actually match them in terms of armies as much as humanly possible. Also, if we build up these regions, we'll have defensible positions. As we've seen over here, in fact, I should bring this army over to here. And we'll have to build that into a fort as well. So yeah, upgrade the town here. Get the rice patties. Jesus Christ. We just, we really can't spend much each turn. I would still much rather build stuff that's going to provide us with more food. Because that, if we have a look at that now, that's t plus 27. It's almost negating the tax level. I mean, amongst other things as well. We're going to need to build roads, and well, everything needs to be built up. It's just a piece of crap road there. Trading port, it's all useful. Actually, no, no, build this. Because of that food. Helps out all of our regions. Now that we've got more regions, every bit of food basically increases our wealth by 19 per turn. Okay, we can repair them now. Right, so that's six. Oh, wait, wait, it's four, so we need six more. Oh, we got no money. So, I guess... 8,000 coming in per turn is pretty good. With their high tax rate. 
So we've got our good archers here, but the thing is, we could make them better. But we need an encampment to do that. I mean, we'd, we'd have to disband them and re-recruit them again, which is not a big deal. But yeah, if we make these two regions here our recruiting thing, so anything that's got that we're going to use for archers, we recruited there. Melee troops recruited here. So maybe the samurai should be recruited there. The, my biggest concern with the samurai is that they just come in such low numbers, like 60. It's just really low. Especially for that cost. Alright, well we're out of money here. It's, it's a pretty quiet turn. Not much going on. Not getting a peep out of them. Oh look, our, our allies actually um, pushed back a little bit, which I don't I don't really want them to win, but it's okay. So these have gotten pretty good now. That if any any big armies come up this way, we can we can sort them out. So you come over here, help. Help protect that, because that's a good frontier settlement. Actually, I think you should come over here and oversee this settlement. It'll increase the public order by a bit, but also help us make more money out of the taxes. Alright, so, sounds good, let's move on. One thing that we could do to expand our wealth, while we, we don't want to expand territorially, is try to establish ourselves on those other trade routes. But I would need a pretty significant navy to, to push everyone off their trade routes. And a big navy is expensive. And also, I don't like naval battles, so... Having to fight all of these navies just for naval dominance, it'd be a big pain in the ass. There's not a whole lot of incentive for it, just for a few extra pennies. What's this? So, in South Shiano, productivity has dropped drastically in this province as the peasants have failed to commit to their daily duties. Not a big deal, this is not really a settlement that I try to make a lot of money off anyway, so... It's all good, that's not really going to affect me much. So yeah, use these to scout ahead, so that we can at least be aware if they're going to send any invasion forces out this way. That's going back up. Tax rate under control, very good. Same here, oversee that. And when it does come time to, to do Realm Divide, what we should probably do is get five settlements right off the bat. These guys. So like, one, two, three, four, see they've already lost that region, the, the, the thing is uh, with them, if we get Realm Divide, they'll, we can drag them into the wars that get started, but then they'll betray us eventually as well. Oh well, that's just what happens. Anyway, we've got some money here to spend, let's not worry about Realm Divide, let's just keep keep building up our economy. Okay, so this every region needs to have a barter exchange. Whether or not we're actually recruiting from settlements, we need to be getting need to be getting that food and money. So a good amount of wealth comes in, but more interested in that food. Yeah, I suppose we can start building up roads a bit. Okay, we've got a small navy here. Okay, 
It's increasing our wealth by a small amount. Now, do you want to... Let's see. I'd like to put these, these ships to the test. See how they perform. We can now also get the... Uh, where's the firebomb? Firebomb medium ship. And they're not that expensive either. Alright, so why don't you get two of those? There's three recruitment slots in here now. That's maxed out. Alright, just leave that be. We're out of cash. Make sure that everything else is under control. Seems like we've got a bit of a time of peace at the moment, which is good. Relative peace. I mean, we're at war with a lot of factions, but... They're at war with each other. So if you have a look at them... They're only at war with us. Okay, that actually kind of sucks. Um, but they've only got four regions. It says they've only got four provinces. One, two... Yeah, four, reg four regions. Okay. Who else? These... The Minamoto, that faction's gone. Well, the, the two major factions. They've still got a little, few guys here with influence. Um, again, another one that only I'm at war with. Uh, the Kobayakawa. They're also at war with the Daisuke. The Sasaki. Let's have a look at them. Yes, there's a lot of them that's only at war with us. So, it may not even really matter whether or not we go Realm Divide. Since... Well, here's the, where the big loss is going to be. If we if we have Realm Divide, we lose our, all of our trade routes here. And they are helping us make a bit of money. However, if we just forget about trade and go and take their settlements, maybe we can make more money that way. Anyway, let's not... Still, let's not do it just yet. Wow. I will listen to you. Speak and do not mumble. Hmm. Okay, just leave that be. How about all this stuff? Okay, we got some generals here. We've got... So there's their brothers. So let's make sure we're not, you know, getting rid of them. These guys aren't particularly loyal. Alright, so you can become that commissioner and you this one. Who is this guy? Where is he? Oh, I don't know where he is. Let's not worry about it. Oh, he's probably up here somewhere. Upstart generals. You know, if there's a few techs in here that we can use to increase the loyalty of our generals. Also, increasing the daimyo's honor will help. All in due time. Alright, let's just move on. And these fuckers show up again. Hopefully they can't reach us. Well, we held on to it for about as long as we could. There's no point finding it manually, we did nothing to them last time. Alright, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to bring in my fleet to, to clear that away. Truth be told, I don't even think it's worth it. Just forget it. It's it's like barely making like let's just see how much money it makes me. Putting one on there. It's fucking nothing. Just forget it. We'll make more money if we just don't bother with it. Still we'll keep this for the time being, because it's good to whack out any navies that that are coming at us. Especially if they've got some um transports on. And we need to protect this region here, because this is one of our richest regions, if not the richest. Doesn't make a whole lot of money from from 
the actual wealth, but it's, it's more the food that I need. Plus 45, that's, that's increasing by a lot. Anyway, let's have a look. So there's a few regions that have public order issues. That's only going to last... Wait, wait, hang on. Why has that still got recent events? The thing's gone. We can exempt it from taxation during the end uh, during the low tax turns. It's not a big deal. I mean, that's going up slowly. I'll tell you what it needs. It needs the clan estates. Again, I don't think there's a lot for us to do right now. Yeah, you're just sitting there. So, the Daisuket, they're on their way here to, to retake this. Now, another thing is that I think that these guys here, um, they probably will betray me soon. So I'm wondering if I should actually take this. This is, this is a well-built-up... The thing is... Taking these guys on... Wait, they're, they're Minamoto, aren't they? Doesn't matter, just keep the agent there, it'll be fine. The moment they betray us, I'll just take that off them. And we can take that off the, off the, these guys whenever we want. Let's work on stuff that's going to make us more cash. You probably shouldn't be here because at some some point we're going to have to fight. And if you're all the way, well, it's, it doesn't matter. We'll be fine. I mean, even if we lost all of these regions over here, it was pretty easy to get it all. It didn't cost us much because we didn't lose, didn't like burn down any of our settlements while it was going on. So I've still got this agent here. He'd be so much more useful to me on the frontier. He's not that old either. See, that looks good. Okay, let's just move on to the next turn. We've had a lot of unrest there, but that's okay. Drop them taxes. Okay, so two regions over here need to be exempt from taxation. I mean, it's not going to have to be like that forever. Eventually the, the unrest stuff will go away. But the uh, resistance to invaders, that's never going to go away. What's the other one? Yeah, just need to wait for the non-clan religion to go away. Might be best if I just actually sent him over here, because that's already their clan religion, so that's that's not going to go back down. But if you're actually here, then we can actually tax it. Just help us make that little bit more money. 
mean, gold mines make a lot of wealth. But at the same time, we, what's our administration cost now? It's 37%. Researching that next, and I've now, now I feel like I should have been researching this stuff here. So much more money to be had. So that provides more wealth to town uh, growth. And it's also cheaper than that building, so we'll get that, and then just that allow us to build in other regions as well. So we don't just build one thing per turn, you know. Well, I don't know what these guys are doing. They probably just want to go blockade a few of my ports. I mean, we could go and beat them, but naval battles bore the fuck out of me. So, but well, then again, we could just auto resolve these. Over it, wipe them out. Captured some of their units, but I don't think I want them because that's just more expenses. And then just send them back to, to retrain. I think that's too much. How much would it be worth? 363. Well, if we had it for just more than one turn, I guess that would be okay. Welcome. I'll actually try and counter the raw fight and try and bring Townsmen them down a little bit on this. Their uses, but only when they are allowed to trade. What say you? I'll try again. What about 400? As politeness dictates. Alright, they'll accept that. The response you receive. Because I've already given them military access. So it'll take two turns for us to make some profit out of that. Um, at least that's helping with our relations with them as well. So if we have a look at the Kitabatake. Let's say about getting peace. Speak. No, they won't have any of that. Nobody ever wants peace. Even if they're losing. Which they are. Going to war with me was a huge mistake for them. Could easily take these regions off them. Could take all four of these in one turn. Maybe that's what I should be aiming to do. Alright, let's, let's work towards that, because like I said, looking at them, they're all Fujiwara. We could do it all in one big go, and that would actually get rid of them. Yes, it will cause Realm Divide, but it will give us a, a, a big boost in a number of settlements as well. Before these guys end up losing it all. Yeah, how many guys are they at war with? See, they're at war with these fuckers here, so they're probably not going to last much longer. Let's get our agents down here. Let's do this. Not, not this turn, we still got to get into position. Oh, did I just send him over there? Assassinated. That's one, two, three, four. Okay, and the fifth is up here. Just in case they, um, if they betray me, I'll just go and steal it off them. So if that's the case, looks like we're going to be going to going to town on these motherfuckers soon. Just conquer everyone. I want you up here. You'll take out Mino. Fuck me, we could actually go and take these guys. And that would I think that would wipe them out. Let me just see. What's what's how many settlements do they have? No, they got five. 
But their allegiance is also that. So we're going to just sweep across here and take all of this with no real problem. Yeah, but like I said, trade agreements will be worth shit soon. So let the realm divide happen. So yeah, these regions need to be exempt because I took the, uh, the things out. That's okay. There's barely any money coming from them anyway. Moving on. So yeah, basically at this stage of the game, there's only two settlements on this map that we absolutely cannot take using agents. And that's, of course, the two, um, the two final settlements of the two remaining major factions. Now, I wanted to get my guys repaired first before that. Yeah, we just don't need a navy. It's too expensive. We want to get good troops. The thing is, we don't even need good troops. We just use our Junsa Sushis. They go and take everything. And it's better than taking it by conquest. Because at the end of the day, you need to get the religion up anyway. Trade route's getting wrecked. As it is anyway. So, clan destroyed, Urakami, daughter is born, good for you. Don't need them. Don't think, I don't know what the daughters are for. Okay, have you enough movement you can maybe get in here? No. Maybe you might actually be needed up here, I don't know, we'll, we'll figure something out. Because, well actually you got this force here, but they're using them as a defensive force. Income's gone through the roof. So we want to take out our enemies first. So you're making it to this region. If it's 95% on each of those, so 1 in 20, 1 in 20, it's, it's like 4 in 60 chance, 4 in 80 chance, sorry, that we will... We'll, that will... I don't even know. There's very good chances that we're going to get all of them, basically. So, hopefully you can take this one. So next turn we take them all. In the winter. And that just eliminates that faction entirely. So we'll need some money for that, obviously. But with 9,000 coming in, should be good. But that being said, let's not spend anything anyway, just in case. There's nothing that we really need to spend them on. Anyway, saving it up is not going to hurt us much. Alright, I want you to move a little bit ahead, because I just want to know what's going on out here. I don't know why they didn't attack that. But, doesn't bother me. Well, let's move on. So yeah, this will, this will undoubtedly cause Realm Divide. But it's it's pretty much happened anyway. Most of this, oh, I forgot about them. I'm not. I don't even really need my navy. We've caught them. So, I mean, we'll, we'll fight this anyway, just because we've got some some expensive units in here. I might as well do it. I just I forget about my navy sometimes. And if we don't focus on having a navy, because like I've said, I hate fighting naval battles in this game. I just find them to be really unenjoyable. Um, if we don't have a navy, it'll allow us to focus more on having more troops. Alright, so... I think one of the main reasons why I hate naval battles is just that... I just... I think there, there might be some sort of finesse to this, but I just couldn't give a fuck about it. So we'll see how we go. 
So basically, I just want these guys to go in there and bomb the fuck out of them. What does Bonsai do? Unbreakable morale. Cool. Flame shot. Doesn't matter. Come on, bomb them. Let's see how good these ships are. I don't expect to win. I don't care if I don't. Come on. Oh, they actually surrendered. Cool. numbered in this battle, so we, we need to do better than this. Sink the motherfuckers. These, these ships are definitely doing their worth. The other ones are just doing fuck all. I've already I've lost my samurai ship. Should just be getting heaps of these. Especially considering I don't have flame shot. We've still got a reasonable chance of victory here. No, we just missed our chance there. I think the thing that annoys me most about this battle here is that it means nothing. Like, we're not fighting over anything important, we're just two navies fighting. And for me, fighting battles without context is worthless. It's just not fun at all. Like, we're not fighting over a trade route or anything. They're trying to outrange us for obvious reasons. Fair enough. Hurry up. Yeah, definitely the bomb things did the best job. Okay, are we done? One of our ships has yeah. been set up, please! Don't give a shit. If anything, losing those ships is just going to make me more money. It's not going to make them any stronger. What are they going to do with it? Blockade my ports? It's not going to make any difference as of next turn. There's going to be no trade routes. So it just ends up giving me more money. No, the game puts no incentive in it for you to go and get a good navy. I mean, maybe on the easier difficulties, because, you know, having a good navy, you can go and establish a trade route or whatever, that's all good and everything, but in this one, it's just like, the enemy produces so many navies, it's just, well, in order to counter the navies that are coming in, I need to put in, what, 5,000 koku per turn navy, and what am I making out of trade? 3,000 koku. Well, why don't we just disband the navy, and forget about trade, and we'll end up 2,000 koku richer. I mean, the only, the only downside to doing that is that it does allow them to do naval invasions, which they're not very good at anyway. Right, let's drop that down. Okay, two regions that have bad public order needs to be fixed. Alright, so let's get started on this Realm Divine stuff. Alright, are you, are you able to get to Mikawa? Okay, one, two, can you... Yes, you can get over here. Alright, so which one do we want to do first? We can do Suruga last. Okay. 
Alright, you go first. So there we go. Power breeds fear among the weak. Fearful of our strength and influence, the Imperial family has declared us enemies of the states. We, we must be prepared. No one can be relied upon to aid us. Not even our sister family. Your sister family, well, we took them out first. And we couldn't rely on them anyway. That's cheap. Good. <laughs> and we wipe out the entire faction. Just like that. How fucking good is that? Alright, now the Daisuke up here. I'm going to deny... Should I cancel their military access? No, keep them there for the time being. Look, if they attack us here, even with that, we should be able to win. And it would be better if it was a stronghold. Just, just keep it as it is. What's this? Bushy training. I don't want that there. We're gonna, we got the bushy trading ground over here, so we're gonna get our best units. Eventually. If we need them. So, how many settlements did we just claim? Four, of course. Um, and of course, no resistance occupation. Now look, if the enemy, if other enemies come over here and take it off us, you know, it's not the end of the world. But since there's nothing up this way, you should um, make your way over there to, to help out. Okay. Oh wow, the public order here is really bad. Because we conquer this, it doesn't have much much of that. Oh shit. Someone's going to need to go over there and fix that up. We're going to need to um, recruit something in there first. That needs to be destroyed because I can't fix that. Okay, yep, build this. So I imagine that over the end turn there's going to be a lot of... These people are declaring war on you. There's going to be a lot of that. It might be an idea to try and establish as many of these guys as allies before doing that as we can. Uh, it's, already, it's already got the realm divide. I should have done that maybe before. No, no one's going to have it. Realm Divide just makes them all zerg at you. But that's okay, we can handle it now. At least I hope we can. I mean, the thing is, we've got huge income. Anytime they take a settlement, we just, just bribe it straight back. They can't, they can't beat us. Alright, so... Yeah, upgrade these settlements, starting from the ones further back. Because these ones here are most, most likely to get hit. There's no time to build it up. Don't need a Buddhist sanctuary there, I need the food building. Master field, we're not recruiting from here. The military port there. Could... We don't really need the military port though, so yeah, get rid of it. Because like, like we've said, we just don't need it. Look, one of my ships got away, I'm just going to disband it. Just have no use for it. Get rid of this. Keep that for the time being. Is this a turn that we can jack up taxes? No. Okay, that's fine. Okay, now that that's done, I expect I don't know if these guys will declare war on me this turn. Let me just recruit another unit over here. Thought it okay, yeah. Um So yeah, I don't know if they'll declare war on me this turn. But if they do, we'll just steal this straight off them. It's actually going downhill. If we take it off them right now, they'll declare war on us. I don't really care if Notto over there gets killed. Anyway, let's move on. We've got 31 food reserves, so that's really going to help our income. 
the more regions we can get with food surplus, the better. It doesn't matter. All of our trade routes are going to disappear soon. So it's, it's going to be absolutely meaningless to even have ports. See, so, drag the Dicecare into all of these wars, just so that when they do betray us, they're kind of fucked it either way. So let's have a look here. Yeah, there we go. They're all at war with us, except for our one ally. Which I don't expect them to last too long with it. But that's fine. Okay, so we can certainly grab that, but can you go do it? Oh, you just out of range. Because, you know, they've got an army over here, and what about this? We'll send you over here. That's Minamoto. And this one here, I think that's 100% Fujiwara. Stronghold there, so we can hold somewhat of a defect. No, get rid of the barracks. We're not recruiting from out here. Look, we could, we could totally backstab them, and it wouldn't matter. But th like I said, um, if we could try and get them to help us attack these guys, then that might might be good. Okay, need to get all of our agents up here, for obvious reasons. Okay, you might need to come back here. Because the public order is shit. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. There's going to be a revolt here. I can't stop it. I shouldn't I shouldn't have sent that other guy over there. Hang on, let me try something. No, I see I can put him in there, but that's not enough. But, you know, they'll certainly be able to handle a revolt, so it's not the end of the world. Might as well tax them then. And putting the military crackdown on them, I guess... See, look at that, minus three. That's never going to go away, either. It may, may eternally need a garrison here. At least until the daimyo gets some, some honor. Alright, so we got some money, let's spend it. Actually, is this a turn in which we can jack up them taxes? Yep. So, having a revolt's not too bad, we can deal with it. So they might do some damage to the region, to the gold mine or whatever. Good, income's looking good. And we have only one trade agreement now, so... Yeah, all of our trade resources are just worthless. Wait, where's that, where's that Sal? He's over here, isn't he? Yeah, bring him down over here. Oh, that's good. Give me the bunker arts. Okay, what else can we build? That region could get hit at any moment, just... But even if it does, we'd win, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. So yeah, you can go ahead and build that. And there goes all of our cash. Okay, moving on. Hang on. One more turn till that's done. Good, that'll, that'll really help us out. Let's move on. I don't even think we're going to need super-powered units. 
Oh man, three armies. Well, easy come, easy go. At least with, with this we sort of get an idea of what we're up against. Three full fucking stacks. Oh, that one's not full. Given they've only got like a handful of regions, that seems like bullshit, but whatever, we'll be fine. Alright, well that's good. The Enchantress. So this will give us... what? Yeah, alright, whatever. So it gave us a, a free agent over here. But she's crap, she's 40 years old. That was that was a crap fucking thing. Oh well. Dump them taxes. Didn't we have a revolt? Yeah, we did. That's a full fucking stack as well. Well, at least we got a stronghold here. If they attack us, we'll be able to beat them. But only if we're sitting in there, I think. Then again, a lot of a lot of cavalry. Shit. Motherfucker. Um, how are we going to deal with this? Because if I go in there and attack them, order resolve isn't going to win against this. Look how much mounted. The mounted samurai actually are not particularly good. Because they're, they're just horse archers. Let me just see this. So I'm just thinking. I mean, the, the main thing here is that if we can get them into melee, we would fuck them up. I don't think they've got even enough ammunition to kill my Naginata level. But the, the problem here is that, um... Actually, I'm gonna withdraw from this. We'll stay here and help defend the region if it comes under attack. Because um, if we go and attack them, the problem here is that my guys will just rout. They just they have no morale. That's the problem with them. We've already seen that. All right, it's kind of cool. These guys look like they're heading up this way. Stay close to them though. But I don't want to get too close to this. If I was to bribe that, no, I can't do that. They've blocked the road over here. Yeah, my, my allies are actually pushing through here. They're doing okay. I mean, can't expect that the uh, that the civil war was going to be easy. It's only a town at Kyoto. State academy. That'd be really useful. I can get my hands on that. They looted the settlement. Now, if they leave this area, though, we'll we'll just retake it back. If they keep all of these three armies together, they'll never really be able to do any true damage. You just stay over there. Okay, I want you to come back over this way. And what I should have done in the first place is have have him stay here. I could have prevented that revolt. Same with you, minister to the settlement. I'm going to assume that we're going to win this situation one way or another here. Let's invest in our regions. Why not? Okay, agents check one, two, three, four, five. Okay, all good, moving on.
I don't know why they're doing that. See, I'm just gonna take Mino back now. Again, this is not a real concern because we can now bypass them and go and. Because those guys are Fujiwara, we go and take their other settlements. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking their horse archers are a big problem. It doesn't matter if they win this settlement. In fact, it could actually be a good thing because if they're inside the settlement. Oh, fuck, I don't know. I'll need to figure this out. The biggest problem is, is always their archers. Yeah, let's just do it again. See, I want to get my army inside the settlement, but I didn't want to put them in there because then I wouldn't get the garrison units as well. I, mean, I could have put a few of them in there, but then they would have pushed them aside, so... Another thing is that keeping him outside the settlement, if we lose this battle, he doesn't get wiped out. And then we just besiege the settlement next turn and retake it. I don't know where the where they're coming from, so it's anyone's guess. I don't think my guys are going to actually be able to make it here in time. Another thing, though, is that hang on, if you could, yeah, really want to focus on shooting these mounted samurai, is that they're probably going to send their melee troops up first, and that gives us a chance to send these guys in to go and kill their mounted units. Problem is that we have to climb up a hill. Even if they walk, they'll get exhausted. So these guys here, their job is just hold the ground here, stop them from capturing the town square as long as possible. Good, yeah, see they're, they're losing a fight against just regular archers here, so that's good. Just like kill loads of their troops, but not take too much damage. We'll take it back off them next turn because they'll capture the town square before we can get in there. There's just too there's too many of them. That's it. If you could wipe this unit out, that's as far as I'm concerned, you've done your worth. It's kind of silly they're only sending like one of them up here. I'll tell you what, this isn't much incentive for me to purchase one of them if they can't even beat them when normal samurai can. Guys are already winded. They'll need a rest before they continue on. So yeah, you guys stay on here. Hold, stay, fight to the death here. This thing is, they're going to lose a lot of men climbing up here as well. They won't recover that in a single turn. Also, they won't get any recovery before we get to have our turn either. Since all of their troops are pretty much coming in from over here, as soon as they get up here, attack. Our general is in grave danger, my lord! If I send these guys in exhausted against them, they're just gonna break immediately. So this is good to see that they're they're actually breaking. Bounce of power is not bad at all.
But it's just more like the tactics of this situation. Like, we, we can't get up here in time. They'll capture this. Look, it doesn't really matter if the archers are tired. Get them over here. Get them. Stop them shooting. Same with the generals. Cause they're not really focusing on on us. So shoot them. There's no time to race. We just need to get in there. I'd like to win this battle if possible. Okay, there. Can we get over here? We need to attack him. Turn around and attack these guys here, because I reckon we could break them. Shit, don't lose the general. Are you in range? Yep, start shooting them. Really bad that these guys are exhausted. That's really, really bad. What am I supposed to do? Walk them up here? That being said, there's not that many melee troops over here, so if they keep together, we, we might just do this. And look at this, all of their melee troops up here are routing. We've got this, we'll win. Provided these guys here don't rout. But I'll just I'll bring my general in close, make sure they rally. If they stay close together, they won't rout. And get in there, kill these samurai. Kill these um, cavalry. Capture this so they have to climb back up the wall. Good, their cavalry is just getting absolutely wrecked. Yeah, I definitely don't think the mounted samurai are worth it. Not by a long shot. Maybe mounted Naginata would be, but I'd, I'd have to see how they go. They've actually dismounted. Probably a good move on their part. Let's go to Getting too badly shot. Shit, 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 shit. The men are fatigued, my lord, and some must rest. Bounce of Pale is nicely in our favour. Just need to finish this off. Trying too hard to kill my general, but I need him in there. Also, see their their morale is it's still it's still pretty good because they get a morale bonus while they're near each other. It's just it's a hidden morale bonus. It's more like they don't suffer as much morale penalties being close to superior enemies when they feel like they're in a big blob. You come out here and help us fight. Actually, there's no need. Just there we are. Guys, moving closer. So, despite the fact they're exhausted, they're actually doing a good job. So, gotta get, get rid of their cavalry. Fatigued, my lord, and some must rest. So, yeah, I majorly overestimated their strength on this one. These guys come out here and get them from the rear. Oh, 
which is turn around, shoot those mounted samurai. Shattered them pretty much immediately, and we've won the battle. So next turn we'll be able to just find the remnants of them and order resolve, finish them off, because they took major casualties, and we'll get some recovery on this turn. Just yeah, run them down a little bit. But I don't need to go overboard with it. The major casualties were taken by the garrison units as well. If I tell you to attack them, it means attack them, or whatever. Like I said, it, it will finish them off. Close victory in my ass, we kicked their ass. Alright, so back over here. Finish him off, and that'll be good for his experience as well. So looking at this region, the public order is now under control. Now looking at taxes, yeah, we can increase this. It's sort of, though, temporarily under control because that military crackdown won't last forever. But like I said, we're bringing these guys in to, to fix it. If we could just get rid of the, the Minamoto influence, bring that back down to uh, zero, then it doesn't really matter if the resistance or invaders are here because we'll just keep the, the priest, the Buddhist or whatever, to, to sort it out. So, as I said before, them doing this was almost pointless because I'll just take this straight off them. They repaired the settlement for me too. Just come down, sit down here for the time being. Is this one? It's a stronghold, so you'll be relatively safe. So over here, we want to try and get Fujiwara influence. We should be able to do it on them because they are Fujiwara. Take it out. And I didn't have another guy around here. I had one, two. Where's the third one? Oh, three right there. So you could come back here and take this, but I don't think that's really going to do anything. For one thing, this is settlement's really badly damaged. Wait for them to repair it. And, um, I mean, they'll just take it right back anyway. They're going to keep their armies together, which is part of their disadvantage, because all I need to do now is go and get the allegiance of all their settlements, and then boom, it's done. Now, our... See, that Realm Divide penalty, that's going to keep getting worse. Their army is here. Like, it's a dick move to declare war on them, but at the same time... Oh, it's actually been going down. Because they've got their own... They've got their own guy in there. Well, why don't you come over here then for the time being? Because they're trying to get rid of our influence. We'll increase it here. Like I said, it's a dick move to declare war on them, but at the same time... It's like, well, they're going to do it to me soon anyway. That's why I'm keeping my army close to him. So yeah, in dealing with this, just keep our, uh, keep, um, our armies away. Because we don't actually want to conquer the settlements, because it causes the, the unrest thing. And public order is important. And as far as money is concerned, it's really it's pennies now to to capture a settlement this way. To send these guys in to go and capture, like we'll be able to capture Yamato, no problem. And these guys moving in in giant blobs, we'll be able to outmaneuver them quite easily. So these guys here, the Isonokami, we should prioritize getting rid of them first. They've got they've got four regions. So if we can get rid of them, so there's one down here. See, they're easy. 
So we get rid of all their regions, and then their armies will just disappear. And that way we don't even need to fight them. Okay, so that works out well. Okay, we've got 5,000 left to spend. Let's, let's keep boosting our economy, because that's working very well for us. Oh, motherfuckers. Oh no, I, th I thought that was um, an army on the on the ships, but no, it's just two ships. So, we're, we're good. They can't do anything. We're going to blockade the port. Where are the trade, trade ships? Do you see any trade routes going through now? There aren't any. Alright, what am I going to do with this? If I just find something to build, or I'll just save it up for next time. We have some money coming through, looking good. Okay, now that we finish this, we need more economical stuff. We need more money. 6% extra tax rates. Yeah, let's reduce the, um, the administration costs, because we're going to be expanding very rapidly. And that'll, that'll probably make us a lot of money by getting rid of that. Okay, moving on. Hopefully they didn't have to get rid of it for good, because that would suck. So I think that agent was completely gone. Hopefully that was the low level one. Okay. Not the high level one. I think the high level one is still around here somewhere. Let me see, where is she? Yeah, no, she's here. So that one was level one, so it's not a big deal. Okay. If they, if they come around over here, it's not a big deal, but it would be a nuisance. Okay, like I said, while, while they're over here, we go into their territory out here, and we just take it all. You dirty girl. Why not? Oh, there's not enough Fujiwara over here. So how many, how many settlements do they have left now? Three. Two of them are over here. So this is their last one in this general area. So let's boost, boost here. The sooner we can get that up to 50%, essentially the sooner we can just wipe them out. I mean, we can send him, just keep going back and forth. Just keep them in the area. Okay, this guy here, we probably don't need him. It would be more useful to us up, up ahead. Yeah, reduce the agent's action cost. That would be great. Get armies even cheaper. So you get three points in this level. That keeps it under control. I mean, I did want to just keep him here to get rid of the Fujiwara, but he's already done a fair bit of it. And that, um, that priest is really helping a lot. i just come over here for the time being. We could also use you to distract them. You're pretty good at that. But at the same time, we don't really need to. It'd be so good when we just make all of these three armies here just disappear. As for these settlements over here, don't bother building in them, they're in really dangerous positions. We'll just bribe them away. Uh, that's not needed.
Okay, that's all of our money. We are making shitloads of cash. This is a normal tax rate, too. Okay, moving on. So yeah, these guys are pretty rapidly coming down this way. Which is a little bit of a concern, but they've, they've got three armies. I don't know. Like I said, let's focus on one enemy at a time. I'm going to take on those other guys first. Um, Alright, welcome them. So it's going up by more than 10% a turn, so it shouldn't take us too long. So who owns... Well, you should come over here. Let's speed this up as, as fast as we can. What's going on here with him? He's sort of stuck. Because it's like they're like standing on the same same thing. Oh well. We just can't move him this turn. Okay, I want you to distract this general here. Damn it. They won't be able to make it to here straight away. And if they did, it's a stronghold. What was in their army? Naginata attendants. This is a pretty crappy army. You'd certainly be able to beat it. But we want to make sure that one of these armies is distracted. Where's my other... My other bitch? She's up here, isn't she? She's a level 2 one. Need to get them... Need to get her back down here. So, looking at... Them. It's gonna get worse. I don't think we should stick around here. I got two armies. Where's the third? Now you can you can do it. I mean, even if you die, it's not the end of the world. Can we get ourselves? One of them. I want to be able to see what's going on. So what are we doing with you? I want you to come over here. I could use a backup guy because we want to make sure that in two turns or whatever, when we can take this, two or three turns that we take whatever they've got over here as well and just make all their armies disappear. These guys over here, not so easy to deal with them. I really wish I could move that guy, but he's, he's just stuck. This turn here, can we increase taxes? Yep, okay, let's do that. Wipe them out, and then just disband this maybe. I don't want it anymore anyway. Let's just upgrade them rice patties. Because I need that food. Okay, there goes all of our cash, but we've got 12,500 coming in. Yeah, I really doubt that these guys would be able to make it over here in a single turn. It, it usually takes two turns to get there. And maybe I shouldn't risk it, because they could bring both armies. Just stand over there. Like, this is not an important region. Anyway, we've got these guys here. We can get them to, um, to pretty much wherever they go. I mean, even if they loot the settlements, we'll just um, we'll just recapture them. It's not a big deal. Okay, moving on. I don't know why they didn't just take it in the first turn. Okay, drop 
that. Okay, we've got a settlement in, over here that needs to be exempt. Alright, now we could capture both of these settlements this turn, but then again, they would just recapture them. Stay over here. Make sure that these stay 100% as much as possible. See, this settlement here was looted. The problem here is that they might come over here this way. So, you capture this because it's, it's not damaged. It'll entice them to loot it. There's also them as well. Just, just stay here for the time being. Hang on, I'll tell you what we should do. Upgrade this to Fort. I know it's five turns, but I don't think they're coming over here anytime soon. How much longer has this got to go? Fort, so two turns we'll take this, and then we take the final settlement, and the, all these armies will just disappear. This guy here, on the other hand, he's a bit of a, a bit more of a concern. What has he got in there? We could assault this. I could assault that with what we've got over here. So they're being conservative with it. Do it. <laughs> I got their fucking army. It didn't even cost me much. This is bullshit. It's like bullshit level. This is goofy as fuck. Oh, hang on a second. It's still owned by them, but I took the army. That is... That is so fucking weird. Alright, well, distract this army over here. Failed twice in a row. Well, you know what? It, it, I can forgive that considering we stole this. We didn't get the settlement, but that doesn't really matter. I don't really care if this army dies. Easy come, easy go. Um, but the mere fact that they kept that army stuck for such a long time is good enough. Man, they, they took their entire fucking army. That's hilarious. What about this one? Enemy force pledges allegiance. <laughs> I don't care if these guys die. The mere fact that we've weakened them by so much is... This is ridiculous. I mean, I, I'm having fun to be honest, but it just... It makes legendary difficulty just... Pff, it's nothing. You can't do that to their daimyo, though. Because I'm not interested in their in the settlement that much. Without their armies, they can't do shit. Alright, you can, you can start making your way up here. Alright. Maybe I'll just save up the money, just just so we can do more of this goofy shit. Alright, so the the uh, the Daisuke are getting pushed back a little bit, but that doesn't concern me. In fact it's a good thing if they get killed. Saves me having to betray them. Alright, let's move on. They didn't even attack. Now, I'm sure it's shit not going to attack with those forces that... What the hell are they doing? So that's just under siege, but... If we capture this... Oh, no, 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 it's next turn we get it. You need, to, you need to make sure you're in as good a position as possible to uh, capture that. So they're in like ambush stance. You just stand over here for the time being. Like, It's actually reduced our income by a lot. That's why I didn't want to spend too much in the last turn. By getting these armies. Which is fine. I don't mind. We'll make use of them. Yeah, you bribe this one. I mean, we could attack it, but don't forget, the, we, we don't want that um, that penalty garbage. Okay, can we come over here? I don't really care if... Whatever. So is this over here? Is this their daimyo? Yeah, we can't, we can't do that one. We could take Awari. Alright, do that. 
Keep these guys distracted while we're dealing with this. They'll probably take that settlement, but I just don't want these guys coming out over here, attacking us. While we're doing this, just one more turn is all we have to wait. Like I said, I don't want to invest in these regions while it's still a problem. But since we've got a lot of money coming in, let's, let's, you know, continue to upgrade our settlements. So what do we need for that? For the grain warehouse, we need the, we oh, we're a little while away from that. We may not even get there in this campaign because we're, we're steamrolling right now, just without even having to fight. Still looking for more food. Because you can see that extra 40, that is really coming in handy now. Okay, we'll save that money up for next turn because this, this is the one that matters. If any of them fail, we need to make sure we have uh, multiple attempts ready to go. Because with these guys gone, that's obviously three armies we don't have to worry about anymore. Alright, let's move on. Oh shit, I forgot about them. They're probably trying to pay off my agent. Oh, well, easy come, easy go. It doesn't look like they succeeded anyway. Don't keep your forces in there, good. What am I going to do, wipe him out? Pay off the temper, they failed. Province lost, that's okay. Alright, drop them taxes. Good, everything's under control. Alright, so these guys, can we finish them off? Alright, the first one's this one. Take this. Good. Now that's their last region, right? Yep. And then we take them out without ever having to fight them. Properly, that is. I mean, these settlements are in bad shape and everything, and that sucks, but, you know, we can repair the damage when there's times of peace. All things considered, considering they had three stacks, that's more than what I've got in, like, total. We didn't lose a single man against them. The art of war would, would praise that kind of action. Alright, so over here, we've got two up. Look, I don't really want to use these guys to do this, though. Like, if he, they want to keep that guy there, that's fine. So what I should do, bring him in over here. You stay over here. Because, like I said, I don't want any resistance to invaders' penalty. You come in here. There are daimyos in there. Maybe you don't worry about that too much. Okay, so these guys here, the doi... Oh, they've, they've come a long way to come here. Who Who's left that's... No one is left that's Fujiwara. So we'll need to actually properly increase our... the um, influence for all these settlements. I think he got a peace treaty with those guys. That's why they teleported up here. We are no longer allied with them. They broke it. Declaring war will harm all other diplomatic actions. Yeah, at this point here, who fucking cares? So then. We're already at war with everyone, so what does it fucking matter? We just need to get started with it all. Okay, so this is just a town. They've got three units in here. I don't know if they'd bother trying to take that. So I can, I can be willing to risk that, I think. So 
it's weird that we got these these generals over here with these these armies almost pretty much free so then after that we'll send him down here that's their last region we can take them out take them out that way just sort of have to assume that they're not going to take this this guy over here is just too badly damaged to do anything. Uh, like I said, I don't want to attack it because we don't want those public order penalties. Because it's permanent. We just bribe our way all the way through the campaign. Okay, I want to make this exempt from taxation. Oh, even, even that's not going to work. We need to repair this stuff now or else public order is going to be fucked. It's going to revolt. See, we can go out here and attack them. That's not a problem. Stay there a little while longer. So how many regions do we have now? 28. 28 without really having to lift a finger. Alright, so we're at an hour and a half. So I'll just um, spend a bit more. We'll go to the next turn then in episode there. Oh, i got two of them here. This one's level 4. It's been sitting here for ages. Well, let's send her out, so she, so she can be of some use. Okay, the thing is here, we're not making a lot of money anymore, but that's okay. It's not going to be like taking settlements every single turn. I mean, we've... We, took them down by half without really lifting a finger and he's what is he just going to do sit there now forever we'll go and take all of his other regions because this one here is going to expand like if they ca capture this for one thing they're um I need to improve my defenses in all these settlements so for example they'll capture this settlement here but you'll come over here and just recapture it again alright let's move on No, don't. That's my good agent. Good. She failed. Uh, he failed. I may have to bribe that agent. Yeah, look. I'm fine. Just could you repair that for me? No, there's no, no point. We'll just get it back. I don't even know where that is. Yeah, that's no, okay. Like I said, at this point of the game, it's all about sort of reducing the uh, the number of um, enemies that we have. And uh, we've already taken down one strong enemy. What's that? Inspiring Master gives us... Just in that province, though. Okay. Where did that thing drop off? I saw a navy land an army. Where was that? Oh, so there's Yamato, but it's it's mostly Fujiwara, so we can certainly take that back. These these guys are very strong. They've already built up a quite a large army again. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, guys. So, oh, hang on. If I if I the intern now, if I exit the game, that'll that'll disappear. But that's that's not a big deal. You know, I need to take a break. So anyway, like and subscribe. Part four is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.